The Penlon Sigma EVA Anesthetic Vaporizer is designed for use with Desflurane Anesthetic Agent. The Sigma EVA has a single forward-facing rotary control dial to regulate the vapor concentration delivered. Alarms and status indicators are located on the front of the vaporizer. The Sigma EVA is available with the Pyramal Fill or Baxter Safe Fill filling system. The Sigma EVA Vaporizer, available with Selectatec or Draeger Auto Exclusion Interlock Back Bars. The Sigma EVA is a mains powered electronic vaporizer with battery backup. Installing the Sigma EVA Vaporizer on anaesthetic machines with Selectatec or Draeger Auto Exclusion Back Bar Manifolds. Offer the vaporizer up to the manifold. Align the gas connection ports on the underside of the connector block with the valve capsules on the manifold. Lower the vaporizer onto the manifold. Lock into position by pushing the locking lever downwards and rotating clockwise through 90 degrees. For the correct installation and operation, refer to the user manual for your anaesthetic machine. Connecting the power supply. Connect the electrical power supply cable to the socket on the vaporizer top assembly. The power indicator will flash when the power is first connected. Interlock system pre-use checks. Mount another vaporizer on the machine back bar, adjacent to the Sigma EVA. Allow the Sigma EVA vaporizer to finish warming up and enter standby mode. This is indicated by the power indicator being continuously illuminated. Push in the concentration control dial and rotate anti-clockwise. Check that the interlock bolt moves outwards so that only one vaporizer at a time can be turned on. Check that the interlock deactivates when the control dial is returned to the locked out zero position. Purge the new vaporizer before use. Before use on a patient, the vaporizer must be filled with desflurane and purged at 4 litres per minute fresh gas with a concentration setting of 18%. Purge for a minimum of 30 seconds. Mount the vaporizer on an anaesthetic machine equipped with an anaesthetic gas scavenging receiver. Connect the electrical power supply cable. Fill the vaporizer with desflurane. Allow the vaporizer to finish warming up and enter standby mode. This is indicated by the power indicator being continuously illuminated. Set a fresh gas flow of 4 litres per minute on the anaesthetic machine. Set the concentration control dial to 18%. Purge the vaporizer for a minimum of 30 seconds. Anesthetic machine and Sigma EVA vaporizer leak tests. Ensure the leak tightness of the anesthetic machine by performing a back bar manifold leak test as detailed in the anesthetic machine user instruction manual, then as detailed in the Sigma EVA user manual. Operating Sigma EVA vaporizer. Check that the vaporizer is fitted correctly to the anesthetic machine. Connect the electrical power supply cable to the socket on the vaporizer top assembly. Perform a self-validation check. All indicators will flash, accompanied by a repeated single audio tone. During the warm-up cycle, the power supply indicator flashes. The warm-up period is variable, depending on the temperature of the agent in the vaporizer. During the warm-up period, the concentration control is locked it will not be possible to set a concentration. Automatic progression to standby mode. Once the warm-up cycle is complete, the power supply indicator is illuminated continuously to confirm standby mode. When disconnecting the electrical power, wait at least 30 seconds for the unit to fully power down before reconnecting. Daily pre-use checklist. 
Complete the pre-use checklist as detailed in the Sigma EVA user manual. Operating the Sigma EVA vaporizer. Delivering anaesthetic agent. Check that the power supply indicator is continuously illuminated. Set the required fresh gas flow on the anaesthetic machine within the range of 0.2 to 15 litres per minute. Push in the control dial and rotate anti-clockwise to set the required agent concentration. This must be greater than 1%. The vaporizer will commence delivery of agent into the fresh gas flow. Using the alarm mute control. Press the audible alarm mute control. The audible alarm will be silenced for two minutes. Press the control again to cancel the silence command. Operating the vaporizer on battery backup. If the battery is in a charged state, changeover is instantaneous if the mains power supply fails. The vaporizer remains in operating mode. When the battery is in use, a periodically repeated single audio tone sounds and the indicator will flash. A fully charged battery will power the vaporizer for a minimum of five minutes at a set concentration of 6% and a fresh gas flow of four liters per minute. At higher settings, the backup period may be shortened. The backup period may extend to a maximum of 30 minutes, depending on the fresh gas flow rate and concentration setting. The battery will be recharged automatically when the mains electrical supply is restored. The power indicator will flash until the battery charge is at a safe level to provide at least five minutes of battery backup. The battery indicator will light continuously until the battery is fully charged. Initiating a vaporizer self-test. With the vaporizer in standby mode, the user can initiate a brief self-test sequence. Press and hold the mute control for five seconds to initiate a vaporizer self-test. All indicators will flash and the audio sounder operates during the test sequence. The vaporizer will return to standby mode when the self-test is complete. Do not use the vaporizer if there is any malfunction. The vaporizer must be checked by a trained engineer. Powering down the Sigma EVA vaporizer. Set the concentration control dial to the 0% position. The vaporizer will revert to standby mode. Disconnect the electrical power supply cable. The vaporizer will automatically exit operating mode and power down. Indicators will flash, accompanied by a repeated sequence of three tones. Indicators will continue to flash until all internal systems have powered down. Service and repair. As detailed in the user manual, operational checks, including vaporizer output, should be carried out every six months. For details of two-year checks, refer to the service manual or contact Penlon Technical Support for further information.